Hello everybody, so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need. To start, you are gonna need a Newmark PT-01 Scratch. This is the latest one that they have. Make sure that it's the latest one because there are a number of versions and they do have the same name. You are gonna need a Jesse Dean replacement fader, which is compatible with this PT-01 Scratch, and a Phillips screwdriver. All right, you're gonna open it right up like so. You're just gonna remove this screw and this screw. Right, there's one. And two. Carefully lift it. Those are the wires that are gonna disengage. You're just gonna pull it right apart. There we go. Here is the replacement fader, as you can see. This is where the wire is going to be um, placed that we just disengaged. Here is the customized Jesse Dean plate. The screws, and last but not least, the fader knob made by Cooler Caps. Yeah, boy. See that? Okay, now that we removed the stock PT01 scratch fader, we're going to go ahead and turn this turntable upside down. So you want to put this cover on top just to be safe. We don't want to take any chances. Okay, just like that. Lock it up and turn it upside down. And we are going to take this bad boy apart. So now we are removing all of these screws to be able to install the Jesse Dean fader inside. You know you're doing it right when you break a sweat. Hard work pays off, people. Okay, now we have removed all eight screws from underneath the portable. Because you're gonna carefully lift this up. And you see that black ribbon right there? You're gonna go ahead and remove that from where it is connected. All right, just like that. And there's another part on this side. Let me just turn this so you can have a better view. All right. These wires right here. There's a red and a white. If you look closely, you're gonna remove that as well. One, and two, all right. Okay, now that we have removed the bottom part of the portable, we are gonna need to access a certain piece underneath this section here to increase the cut time when you do scratch. I'm gonna remove this screw, this screw right under that, and this screw, okay? So let's get to it. Remember that the screw in the middle has a washer. Okay, carefully lift this piece up. All right. So what we're gonna do is remove this one right here, which is labeled C513. It's almost directly above this red light, so it's right there, okay? And what I'm gonna do is take these scissors. These are really fine scissors. All right. Right there. Next, we're gonna remove this screw right here. There we go. Bam, take that out. Take this piece out. All right, so we are gonna install the Jesse Dean fader. All right, and I'll see this little piece right here. This is gonna slide underneath this plastic piece right there. All right, I'm gonna show you. All right, slide it under there, snug it in. Yep, make sure the holes match. We're gonna screw it in on the other side with a Jesse Dean faceplate. Okay, that's how we're gonna secure it in. And then, you're gonna put the faceplate right there, line it up, okay? There you go. Put the screws in. All right, screw it in. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, we got that now. And remember this piece that was connected to the original stock PT-01 scratch fader, we're gonna go ahead and connect it into the Jesse Dean fader. All right, make sure that you put everything flush and back the way it was. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna put the white wiring back, this red one back. All right, bam, got that? This is the main power cord, so definitely need to put this back where it belongs. All right, can you see? 
We are good to go. Put the screws back. Almost done. Who's excited? I know I am. Oh my God, the closer it gets, the longer it's taking. Shit. That original fader is just a um, little switch and we want to be able to feel that, uh, that real pull and push and catching and all that stuff. So here we go. The new installed Jesse Dean right there. Bam. Who's ready to scratch with me? And now we're gonna teach you a whole bunch of different scratches that you can use, do your own combos too, on this portable turntable. You saw it here on Scratch Poop. Bye.